today we're making gajar halwa so in a pan we will take pure ghee and fry some cashews so we're gonna lightly fry this cashew and then take it out make sure that you don't burn it in the ghee which is clarified butter so it's done now and we'll take it out and add the carrots or the gajar and keep stirring till it changes the color for about five minutes so after about five minutes i'm going to add milk keep stirring so that it doesn't stick to the pan <laughs> to add my own special touch i added some raisins and uh, the milk should reduce and release the ghee or the clarified butter and at that point we will add other ingredients see how it's reducing and now it will re start releasing the ghee at that point we will add the mawa or the koa here solidified uh, milk sugar and other ingredients so at this point when the ghee is getting released i'm going to add koa and sugar so add sugar according to how much you can take the sweetness depends on how much sweet you want the gajar halwa to be make sure you keep stirring and stirring and it doesn't stick to the pan see how it has changed now and i'm gonna add the ground cardamom now or the elachi powder keep stirring keep stirring keep stirring make sure the heat is not too much otherwise it'll get burned to make it extra special and to add my special touch i'm gonna add saffron I can't tell you how lovely it is smelling because of the cardamom and the kesar or the saffron. My gajar halwa is almost on the final stage and I'm going to add the uh, cashews which I fried before. Mix it well. And ta-da! It's ready to serve. It's, you can serve it warm. And it's ready to eat. This is how you serve it. Garnish it with some extra cashews and you are done. Gajar halwa is ready to eat.